Are you going to the attend this year? Because if you are, make sure to watch this video. Hi, my name is Moomin Sami and I am a GCSE student going to year 11 this year. So I think I have the knowledge and the expertise to tell you guys what year 10 is like. As you may have heard, in year 10 the GCSEs begin or year 9 depending on which subjects you're doing. But that means that you're going to have to pay more attention in class and stuff is going to get a bit more serious. So that's exactly what this video is for. I am going to be giving you 8 useful tips to help you throughout year 10 and even year 11. So let's get into it. As I just said, tip number one is to pay attention in class. This is because everything matters once you get into year 10. Every lesson that you have, the chance of the content that you go over can actually come up in the exam. So that means that you should pay attention and you shouldn't misbehave in your lessons. Otherwise, detentions and sanctions are just going to waste your time. Another tip that not many people talk about is to put your hand up more in year 10. This is because you're more active during the lessons when you put your hand up and you're constantly answering the teacher's questions. I personally did not use to put my hand up much before year 10 in year 9, 8 and 7 but once I got into year 10 I started putting my hand up more and I gradually started understanding everything more as well and when you do put your hand up you're more likely to consolidate that information that you learn in class and also uh, putting hand up isn't just for answering questions but you can also put your hand up to ask questions for your teacher as well especially when you don't understand a specific thing about the topic you're doing which is really good because that way you don't need to worry about not understanding something because your teacher's there and you should ask them whenever you can. Another thing that you need to do in year 10 and 11 is to understand everything and then review everything don't just leave everything behind and think, oh, I'll just do it later and put it on this massive ever-growing pile of things that I'll do later when the exams come around. Because I know people that in the year 10 end of years still didn't understand a lot of the topics. And when I was revising the topics, they had to learn the topics, which was a tremendous waste of time. And they could have just easily solved that with just going over everything if they didn't understand it. And that's really important if you ask the teacher questions about the stuff that you don't know and to look up online or just look at videos because it's really useful to make sure that you know everything so you don't waste your time trying to learn it in the future. So do yourself a favour and go over everything that you went over in class so you understand it properly and review it from time to time as well. Obviously I'm not saying to go over and revise everything day after day after day because it's really going to stress you out. Don't do any unnecessary work that you don't have to do because you can properly revise when exams come around but for now just understand everything and make sure everything makes sense. Speaking of exams, during year 10 you're going to have loads of end of term and end of half term exams. These exams are really important to revise for so make sure you revise for them properly. This is really important because that way you can see exactly what you went wrong on and how to improve so you can implement that into your actual exams which makes everything much easier and if you don't revise you won't know exactly what you're bad at and what you're good at and things get a bit messy so I really suggest revise for your exams. Next up is do your homework. This is quite simple simple and straightforward but it's really important to stay up with your game for your homework because homework is another form of revision basically because you're going over everything that you did in class and once the homework deadlines start piling up you're going to be very stressed and you don't want that to happen at all especially in year 10 homework can pile up quite quickly so make sure that you do your homework as soon as possible I personally like to do it the day I get set so I can get it done and over with and I can just relax after that as I like to say, work now, play later. Next up is to be organised. It's really important to have a good sense of organisation because this way you're more efficient when you're revising and you can find things much more easier. This is not just an important skill for the GCSEs but for life in general and there are apps online that can help you with this. I personally like using to-do list apps such as Microsoft To Do. It's really good for just ticking everything off that I need to do for the day and yeah. That's basically it for organisation. Also, make sure you don't overwork yourself either because there's always so much work to do. If you continue doing more work after that, you're going to start getting really stressed and by the time the GCSEs do come along, you're going to get really burnt out. So make sure you do have time to relax. Don't let work take over your life. You will, even after spending time revising and doing your homework, have a lot of free time still available. So make sure you still hang out with your friends and maybe even learn a new skill. So for me, I learned web development in year 10 because... I was bored and it's quite fun to code, I suggest doing it. Lastly, I just want you guys to enjoy the journey. Year 10 is a nice year, you should not let the year 10 take over your life, make sure that you do other things apart from school. 
it's not too bad of a year at all, to be honest. Year 10 isn't actually that big of a deal as it may seem. It's actually basically the same as year 9, apart from the fact that you're doing your GCSEs. But it doesn't feel any different. So make sure you don't think that year 10 is a completely new year. Everything's completely same. The year might feel a bit slow at the start of the year, but trust me it's going to speed up real fast once you get to January February you you won't even realize where the time's gone so yeah just make sure you enjoy it because year 11 is going to come much faster than you think anyways that's the end of the video make sure you like the video if you found my tips useful and to subscribe if you want more videos like this also make sure you write in the comments down below which GCSE subject you're most worried about so I can help and make a video about it for now though make sure you have an astounding day and I'll see you again next time time.